Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice square root math problem? From here, what you are given is a square root of x. Then inside that, we also have square root of x. Also square root of x. Then square root of x, which is equal to 10 on this side. Now, here, the first method we are using here, method 1, let's take the square on both sides. So, when we square this side, then we also square this side. Then, the square here, we cancel the square root. Then, this will give us x root x root x then root x now equals to let's still write this as 10 square now before we continue please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on thank you now next step also we also square both sides and we square this side so the square here we affect x so we have x square then times to apply this one too, then we have square root of x root x then root x also we square this so this one square as well which is equal to here 10 raised to power 4 here then also the square here we cancel square root then we have x square times x then times square root of x square root of x now equals to 10 raised to power 4 then also we square again okay before squaring this here is x raised to power 1 let's bring this together from the law of indices so this will give us x raised to power 2 plus 1 which is 3 then root here we have x root x now equals to 10 raised to power 4 then now let's square again from here squaring both sides this square also affects x raised to power 3 so we have x raised to power 3 square now also root x root x square as well now equals to 10 raised to power here this multiply and that's it so here 2 times 3 here that's x raised to power 6 then here square cancel square root we have times x then root x now equals to 10 raised to power 8 then also this is also x raised to power 1 so we bring this together as x raised to power 7 then times root x which is equal to 10 raised to power 8 then also from here let's square both sides again so the square on this side as well the square also affects these two numbers that's x raised to power 7 square then times root x square then equals to here this multiply and this is 10 raised to power 16 and here this also multiply to 10 7 here that's x raised to power 14 and this square cancel square root that's times x equals to 10 raised to power 16 here this is x raised to power 1 and here when we bring it together that's x raised to power 15 equals to 10 raised to power 16 now to get x here we can multiply both power by 1 over 15 so multiply both power by 1 over 15 so that this we cancel out and we have x now equals to 10 raised to power 16 over 15 so here we have the value of x from this method now let's use the second method 
And from what is given here, we can break this down and this will be root x times here, this x contains two roots, this one and the, the one outside. So we have root, then root x, and this x contains three, that we have square root of, square root of, square root of x, then this contains four, we have square root of, square root of, square root of, square root of x, now equals to 10. And the uh, square root here is same thing as raised to power half. So we have x raised to power half times here. That will be x raised to power half, then raised to power half. Then here we have three of it. That's x raised to power half, then raised to power half, then also raised to power half. Then here we have four of it. That's x raised to power half raised to power half, raised to power half, then raised to power half, then equals to 10. And when we apply the law of indices here, so this is 3x raised to power half, and this multiply, you have to tend to the that's 4, that times x raised to power 1 over 4, then here we have this multiplied, and this is times x raised to power 1 over 8. Then times here, this multiplied. And we have x raised to power 1 over 16 equals to 10 on this side. Then let's bring this together as one well from the law of indices. So this is x raised to power half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 equals to 10 on this side then from here we can bring this together stm there is 16 so we have x raised to power 16 as stm in the power 2 goes in 16 that's 8 times 1 that's 3 8 plus 4 goes in 16 4 times 1 that's 3 4 then plus 8 goes in 16 2 2 times 1 that's 3 2 plus 16 goes in 16, 1, 1 times 1, that's 3, 1, and equals to 10 here. Then what we have here is simply 15 up here. So we have x raised to power 15 over 16 equals to 10. Then we remove this power and multiply both power with the reciprocal here, which is 16 over 15. And this is also 10, 16 over 15, such that this we cancel each other. And we are left with x, which is equal to 10 raised to power 16 over 15, which is the same thing with what we have in the false method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.